What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and today I'm going to show you how to get the armor set I'm wearing, the Bloodhound Knight set. It's a pretty cool armor set. I'll show you how to get there, how to get through it, and the quickest way possible to be able to get this armor without having to do the entire dungeon or looking everywhere, dying 500 times to these freaking chariots. You'll also get this Gilmir Knight armor set from the dungeon and from the exact same place we'll get the Bloodhound set. I'll show you exactly where to go from our tree grazing hill and the way you get here is from the abandoned coffin and again this is like from the main story so you can't miss these two. Now it's a bit of a trek so follow along if you don't know how to get there. Once you've taken the elevator down, you will find a side of grace here. And there's two ways you can do this, one really quick and easy way, and I'll show you that first, but it does require a bit of finesse when it comes to dropping down on the small objects. So just follow me, and uh, it should be plain, painless and super quick. What you want to do first is run your butt off. I usually go to the right, or left, I mean, I don't know why, but I do. Ow. He's gonna get bodied. Then once the chariot goes by, you wanna go right away and then go to the right where the skeleton is here. Kill him. Or don't. And you have the time to go here. Again to the left. Run. Or jump, sorry. Uh, let this guy do his acrobatic bullcrap. <laughs> you wanna run again. Go to the right here. Make sure you kill the skeleton before you do anything else. Make sure you get passing by, you should kill him. So what you want to do is crouch in this corner. There is wooden beams here and you just fall in the corner. And then you want to jump on here. And the enemy we need to kill is right down here. So once you've killed him, you can loot this body, you will get the Gilmere Knight set as I showed you in the beginning. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you get this set. But I'll show you the other way if you'd rather not try to do the jump and all of that stuff. The other way you could do this is actually run the entire thing. And I will show you. Jump over the acrobatic skeleton. <laughs> now, instead of dropping down here, we're gonna go to the left here. But we have to wait for the chariot to come back up. Once he goes by, we can go. Watch your toes, jump over the lava. There's going to be a crossbow guy right here to your left, so kill him. There's going to be two more of these guys, one under the stairs right here, and the one up there. Okay, just avoid my hits, that's fine. And there's going to be one right here. 
Now there will be fire coming out of here, so what you have to do of course is wait for the fire to stop. And you want to run a left because there's not going to be any fire coming out from the this area. So then you hit this pillar and it will go down. What you want to do is go here, right in front. Another chariot here, you can chase them down. Go to this little alcove. Kill the skeleton because they're going to be very annoying if you don't. <laughs> So you need to make a run for it and you need to go to an alcove on the right. Now you have just enough time and if you're not sure if you are going to make it or not, you can actually use this mix of uh, Wondrous Physic, so it significantly negates damage received, so it will save your life if, let's say, you don't make it and it just clips you. The best thing you can do actually is just take off all your armor because the character will run faster and roll faster. So as soon as he, go by, he goes by, you have to run for it. And there will be an enemy here, so also be careful. So now that that's done, uh, the chariot will come back down and then he will go in front of us. So we're gonna let him do that. We're gonna go to our left and drop down on this ledge. Then go here, go straight right. And this is the area where we dropped down and fought the Bloodhound Knight. So you don't need to fight him again, but what you want to do is take this ladder up. Now we're going to go back onto the wooden beams, but we're going to actually drop down on a chariot and ride the chariot down. Jump in the corner here. Stand right here. And you can jump down now or as it turns around. I like to do it as it turns around. And we're gonna take a little ride here. Now as it's turning around, you want to jump right here in front of you. And roll through it, if ever you don't make it. And the boss room is right here. You'll also get the Bloodhound Knight summoning ashes from the boss fight, as well as a death root, so you can take it back to our uh, beastie friend in Kaled. Now there is another weapon you can get from here, but I don't have the Bloodhound step ashes. I believe I sold them because I'm dumb, so I can't show you that way. But I'm pretty sure you can get a weapon out of this. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped you get through this quickly and painlessly. And if you want more Elden Ring content, there is a plenty more on my channel. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon.